With the cancellation of the remainder of this school year and spring sports, senior student athletes unfortunately did not receive their typical send-off. In a conversation with sports producer Chris Dugan, Needham High School Athletic Director Dan Lee described the legacy of this year's senior class. Plus, Lee also spoke about the short-term and long-term effects that the COVID-19 pandemic could have on high school athletes. What stuck out the most about this senior class, it was a really great group of kids, a lot of high character kids who, who loved representing Needham and, and playing for, for their teammates and, and their coaches and their family and, and their friends. And that's what's in talking with some of the coaches, especially the spring ones uh, in the past couple of weeks, that's, they, they've all echoed the same thing that this senior class was, was such a great group of, of high character kids and, and good athletes. So aside from the, the all scholastics and the state championships and the league all stars, which there were a lot out of this senior class, I think what's, what's most important to understand is that they were just a, a really solid group of kids. As, as we stand right now, the restrictions were lifted for out of season coaching through June 30th. So it, it allowed fall coaches, winter coaches to stay, stay connected with their athletes. Also at the time, it, with the season starting on May 4th, the spring coaches could be in contact with, the, with their athletes. We've seen groups like the Eastern Mass Lacrosse Coaches Association or, who are going to be hosting a, a hopefully a, a senior five-on-five -five lacrosse tournament uh, towards the end of July for which will be an opportunity for the senior class to hopefully get back out on the field and, and compete with their with their teammates that's obviously pending you know the okay from from the governor so situations like that uh, our coaches could be involved because the those kids are graduated they're not they're not uh, their athletes anymore so in terms of underclassmen I think a, a lot still remains to be seen I think the thought around out of season coaching is it puts uh, undue pressure on kids to think that they need to to participate in something that their varsity coach is a part of if they want to to be part of their high school team. I think what's important to understand right now is our coaches want to be in contact and be part of their kids' lives because they care about them and they care about their well being and understand how much sports is a part of their lives and how much a part of it uh, their high school you know, education and, and, uh, and career it is. So I think coaches being involved with uh, their athletes over the summer when restrictions are lifted, you know, we'll have to wait on, on what the MIAA says. But I think in the, my discussion with my coaches so far, it's because they, you know, they understand that the kids need that social contact and want to feel part of, of the team that they that they missed out on being in this this spring and it's uh you know it's important to get back to a sense of normalcy so we'll see what the what the miaa says but in terms of some of the the senior events over the summer the coaches could be part of that because those kids will have graduated this is so new for for everybody a, a lot will will still have to be determined what i think we could potentially see with kids missing their their junior season for the for recruiting purposes for kids who want to play in college and if it turns out that the summer club or AAU season doesn't happen then yeah well it, it could could have an effect on uh, multi-sport kids that want to focus on one sport in college that their secondary sport if their AAU or their club team is going to offer something in the fall that they weren't able to do in this, this, this current spring or the summer, that maybe they do that in the fall instead of playing a fall sport or something like that. I hope it doesn't happen, but you know, that could be sort of the trickle down effect that we, we see for those kids that are, that want to be recruited and want to want to play at the next level without the opportunity to play this spring and potentially this summer that they might have to, you know, make a decision to, to go, to an opportunity to, to be more seen by, by college coaches. Again, like I hope it doesn't happen, but it's something that's a, a possibility.